we went last year, I figured it would be a little story time because I never talked about it. As many of you know, I'm going to be going to PAX South 2017. Well, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you'll know I'm going anyway. Last year I went to PAX South 2016 and I just gotta say, that was the most fun I have ever had on a trip in my life. I got to meet three of my internet friends, one of which I thought I would never get to meet. You know who you are. Um, I recorded a little bit of video, but I never uploaded it. I kept it on my old phone and now it's gone. I wish I had it still. I'd, I'd put it up in the corner or something. Our trip started off like six months beforehand. I want to talk about before it started. I was just messing with C2 one day. And I was like, hey man, you should come to America. You should come to PAX South. I'm thinking about going. Why don't you come? And he was like, all right, I will. I, I thought he was joking. I seriously thought he was just kidding. We were playing some game. I don't remember what it was. I think we are playing Don't Starve, actually. Because that's when I got beta keys for it. Anyway, uh, we were playing and he we stopped playing games for a few minutes. And he's talking. He's like, I think I am going to go to PAX South. And I, I, I kind of stopped. I was like really? You're gonna, you're gonna pay to come all the way here? And he was like, well, yeah, I'll fly to San Antonio. I was like, no. I told him he's staying here. <laughs> so when the time came, it was late January, 29th through the 31st was packed. So I think he came here like a couple days early. He told me he had booked a flight and he was on his way here. I was like, oh, okay. So uh, he flew here to Memphis. I picked him up and I brought him here. We stayed at this house for one night then the next day we went to Tracy's house in northern Texas that was the first time I ever got to meet Tracy and it was awesome uh, meeting I don't know what it is uh, meeting internet friends is the coolest thing ever you never know what you're what you're gonna expect when you get there and I got to meet Tracy for the first time I love you man and we got there we spent the night uh, I might have some video still of uh, when we stayed the night there. I took some. I took a couple of videos. It might be on my camera, um, and I could find that. I'll put it up here if I find it. And we stayed the night there. I uh, met uh, him and Maddie, a friend of his. We went back to Dallas to pick up Rukia. Rukia, I just gotta say, <laughs> I thought you were much taller when I first saw you. I had no idea who you were. When I picked up Hildy. We came, we went from Dallas to San Antonio that day. The day before, me and C2 did about, let's see, we left about 6 o'clock in the morning. We got there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's 8 hours worth of driving. We stopped a couple of times. And then the next day, we did 5 hours worth of driving. Now, San Antonio was so packed when we got there. I expected that because it's a big event that's out. And there's going to be a lot of people showing up. And uh, so we got there. We got our hotel. And man, I fell in love with San Antonio. A lot of people that live there are going to say, Oh, San Antonio is not that big of a deal. For somebody like me that loves to travel and stuff, seeing San Antonio for the first time was so awesome. And I fell in love with it. Anyway, we had tons of fun. Uh, we went to the events, of course. So this year, um, I'm going, Rukia is going, and Brandon, my friend, who's in my vlogs a lot, he'll be going also. This year, I want to try and do some full vlogs. I don't know if I will. I can't promise that. I said last year that I was going to, and then I took like two clips and then never even touched it again. I want to try and do some videos every once in a while when we're sitting at the hotel or something doing nothing. Um, eh, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, and... I'll get to get to see my friends again. Uh, oh, Brandon lives right around the corner from me. Uh, Rukia, she lives far away. Um, but one day, you know, I want I want to be able to see everyone again. You know, just just getting to see everybody is the biggest part of it. it. It's not even the event for me. It's not getting to go see all the cool places that are at where we're traveling to. It's meeting my friends again. I love seeing them every time. It's awesome. But I wanted to tell a little story about when we went to PAX and how I, ne I never dreamed that I would ever meet C2. Oh wait, what? I always thought I'd never get to meet C2 because he lives in the UK. And for him to say that he's coming here to go to an event that's another 600, 500 miles away from me 
that was a big deal, and that was the awesome, this was the most awesome thing ever. But I didn't really have anything else to vlog about, I just wanted to tell a story, because I was, I'm sitting here doing nothing today, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time, whenever the next upload will be.